good morning to everyone today's topic is water vascular system in starfish how the water vascular system is working in the star uh, starfish the water vascular system is most commonly seen in echinodermis this water vascular system is commonly seen in the echinoderms it is also called as ambulacral system it is also called as ambulacral system what is the use of the water vascular system in starfish this water vascular system was mainly used for the locomotion in starfish and to maintain the turgidity in starfish the system totally useful for locomotion in starfish and also for turgidity to maintain the turgidity in starfish let us go in deep with this water vascular system for our better understanding i draw this diagram of water vascular system in starfish here we can see this is the water vascular system in starfish mainly we can see in echinoderms here how the water vascular system is going on how this water vascular system help for the locomotion in starfish how this water vascular system is working in the starfish let us go in deep first he, here you can observe that um, the upper part here the aboral disc of the starfish consists of a madreporite here the madreporite is the part which which is a circular sieve like a structure which filters the water and collects the water from the outside and passes through a narrow tube like structure which is called as stone canal this is called as a stone canal which has uh ciliated epithelium which sends the water from the madreporite to stone canal the ciliated epithelium which consists of stone canal passes the water to the ring canal or ambulacular canal here this is called has a ring canal or ambulacular canal here the water from the madreporite to stone canal the water passes into the ring canal or ambulacular canal and the water from here and moves to the alternate radial canals these five are known as the radial canals which acts as the arms in the starfish from the radial canals to this water passes to the lateral canals here lateral canals to this lateral canal which bifurcate divides into two parts and passes into two parts and the upper part proximal part is known as ampullae and the lower part distal part is known as tube feet the another alternative organs you have observed here a sac like structures that attached to the each radial canal here you, you can observe here this sac like structure or pear shaped structures are called as pollen vesicles this pear shaped structures are called as pollen vesicles which used for storage of water or reserve of water and maintains the pressure in ambulacular system maintains the pressure pressure in the ambulacular system this is also called as ring canal or ambulacular canal here now we go, let's go in deep with how this mechanism is working on how this uh, whole system and the whole parts are useful useful for the locomotion for uh, starfish here see first the water from the outside enters into the madreporite from the madreporite a calcinated stone canal which consists of ciliated epithelium from here to it enters into the ring canal or ambulacular canal from ambulacular canal the water fills into the radial canals from the radial canals to the water passes into the alternate lateral canals the lateral canal divides into the two, uh, enters into the two parts the upper part is known as ampullae and the lower part is known as tube feet here we can observe this in the main thing the ampullae consist of which is made up of circular muscles and this tube feet is made up of longitudinal muscles this both ampullae and tube feet which is the main parts for locomotion in starfish which has the which acts as the main parts for the locomotion in starfish how this tube feet and ampullae useful for the locomotion in starfish this tube feet shows a hydraulic 
hydraulic pressure hydraulic pressure is obtained from this two feet which used for the locomotion the water from the madreporite to lateral canals fills all over the parts of the starfish and enters into the ampulla ampulla reserves the water or stores the water when the circular muscles of the ampulla get contracted the water passes into two feet the water passes into two feet and the long, when it get relaxed the water enters into the ampulla when the longitudinal muscles get contracted or relaxed the water enters into the ampulla by the mechanism of contraction and relaxation of longitudinal muscles and the circular muscles the alternatively which used to create a hydraulic pressure which helped for the locomotion in starfish here the alternative contraction and relaxation seen in this circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles of ampulla and two feet which create a hydraulic pressure in starfish by this mechanism the starfish get locomotor from one place to another place thank you